Yep, pick it up, pick it up. Got him. Pick it up, yes. Decent. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode. As you can see, we are here on the water and it is a bright and sunny day. Today, we are in Northern Wisconsin and we are chasing smallmouth. So right now, the smallmouth are kind of in a little in-between funk. Some of them are on beds, so we'll do a little bit of bed fishing, and some of them are not on beds. So I'm gonna kind of cast a Ned rig around, and I'm gonna let Jamie target some of these bed fish. Um, but we're gonna see how it goes. I've seen quite a few males on beds already. Maybe we'll find some females. Um, but overall, just something to point out, guys, always, 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 when you're fishing for these bedded fish, conservation. So when we catch them, we make sure we go ahead and we drop them right back on their bed. So you don't wanna disturb them from their spawning. Uh, some people don't even like fishing for them when they're spawning. To me, based on the science, there is nothing that's going to happen or it's not gonna affect their spawning cycle as long as you put them back on the bed. So it's what we always do, it's what we always practice. Um, so make sure you guys practice that too if you're gonna go out and bed fish. But we're gonna go out, try to get on them. Stay tuned. The female did? Yeah, she'll be back on it. She'll be back on it in a second. Yeah, that one's really cool colored. Those are my favorite ones to get pictures with. Leopard colored ones. Oh, you get a right there. Yep. <laughs> Sticks out like a sore thumb. Got her. <laughs> oh, nope. That's the male. Oh, no. Is that the female? Can't tell. I don't know if that's the male or the female. Probably the female. It's pretty big. That one's probably four pounds. <laughs> yeah, that's got to be the female. Right back to the bed. I don't know how they instinctually know that. Like they literally swim right in the direction immediately. How do you know that? If you want to be able to see your worm a little better, you can take the orange dye I got in there and dye half your worm orange. Cause it'll, it'll just give you some contrast. Cause like right now I can't see my tube but I can see the orange tails. Yep, just don't get it on the boat. Don't get on the boat. <laughs> this one actually looks like a decent sized fish. Pick it up, pick it up. Yep, pick it up, pick it up. Got him. Pick it up, yes. Decent. Noise. That's a good one. Another tank. Unreal. Tank after tank after tank. <laughs> oh, nice. Make Travis jealous. Dude. Dude. I was holding my leg, but I was holding my rod between my legs, Jamie. I was holding my rod between my legs, and I looked down, and this fish has my tube in its mouth. <laughs> yes, my GoPro is running. Yes, <laughs> guys, I just. <laughs> I wonder if I'm gonna be able to see it on GoPro to see if it came up and ate it. I cannot even believe that right now. I was holding this fish. And this one came up and ate my tube as it was sitting between my legs. Oh my gosh. Well, how does, what? <laughs> what? It had to be super shallow too. Like, it was like okay, I see her. She's still there. Right, right in the middle of the light part. Yeah, I always just cast past and bring it to it. It's way easier because then you can steer it. Try throwing this tube on there once. Sometimes they want something on the bottom, like in their bed. Yep, she's got it. Told you. 
She, wanted, she just wanted something on the bottom. Of it. That's all it was. She just needed something in the bed. That one was like four and a half. Oh! <laughs> Hate losing big fish. Go, go, gadget net. <laughs> yeah, I think so. What is, what is, is that a clam? Is that a rock, is a rock? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and you think you have a giant? You think you have a giant? Oh yeah, saw that. And uh, yeah, no, it's just the rock, apparently. Watch this, Jamie. Oh, I didn't eat it. Thought for sure he was gonna eat it. What? No way. That one ate it. I watched that one on live scope. Oh, it's a giant dude. Oh, it's not that big, no man. It's big, but it's not. It's a pre-spawner though. Oh, Pre-spawn female. Jelly Don't be dumb. You look at all the crayfish that was spitting out. Oh yeah. On a Ned rig. Dude, oh, that. everything today. <laughs> I live scoped that one. I saw it swimming on there. Cast it to it, and boom. Live scope smallie. Only the second pre-spawner we've got today. All right, see you later, mama. You can see your belly flapping with you. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Big old belly. Uh, Ned rig. Oh, maybe that was my blood, not the pussy's blood. <laughs> yeah, I just scan around and I saw her the first time she went down to it, but didn't need it. I reeled back in the second time she smoked it on the way down. Decent size or no? Like that? <laughs> With the quickness. <laughs> like why is it not working? <laughs> oh, oh, he just spit it too, look at that. Holy crap. <laughs> Wasn't gonna stop for you, but if you'll be dumb and hit it that easy, I'll take it. I can swing it, it's a small one. See little guy. Well, he sh I, I, I missed the bed, and I saw him shoot out, out of the bed and chase it. So I twitched it, and he, I saw him chase it again, and then I just set the hook. I figured the second time he chased it, he was eating it. <laughs> well, guys, we just made it back home from our trip. Uh, as you guys saw, we caught a whole bunch of smallies. 
Uh, some were pre-spawn still, some were on beds. I even think some were post-spawn. It was one of those trips where we've had these up and down temperatures, back and forth, back and forth. So there was uh, quite a bit of variance in the different stages of the spawn. Um, but we caught some nice fish, had that one crazy cool thing where the fish grabbed my tube between my legs. That was pretty interesting. Um, but overall, just a really fun day with Jamie. Caught a bunch of fish and had a great time, especially fishing that clear water when you can watch everything happening. So uh, thank you guys for watching the video. I appreciate it. If you liked what you saw, please go down below and hit that like button and drop us a comment. And also, if you haven't yet, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well. Uh, we appreciate you guys coming here to the PC Fun channel, watching, and also make sure you go to PCFun.com and check out all the products. Because everything I use in these videos is all on the PC Fun website. So make sure you guys go check that out as well. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one.